What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here. And yes, the Green Bay Packers make a big move in free agency, re-signing uh, one of their best players on the offensive side of the ball, Aaron Jones, back with the Packers, a four-year, $48 million deal, about $9.5 million or so, apparently, in these first two seasons, just a hair over that franchise tag uh, that many were speculating the Packers could use on Aaron Jones uh, for this season. But obviously, with the restructuring of Preston Smith's contract and, and other contracts, Bakhtiari, you know, potentially going to extend Adams to save some cap room this year. Packers are gearing up for one more run at this with the gang back together. Well, at least most of them. Um, and they clearly believe Aaron Jones is a key part of that. So, Packers fans, be excited. Aaron Jones is back. Uh, he's a dynamic player. Honestly, in my opinion, probably the best running back I've seen play in a Packers uniform live. So, there is that. Um, obviously all the takes, AJ Dillon, what about the cap? You know, why pay running backs? All that good stuff. That, that's that's natural. The reactions are there for that. Whatever. Let's move on from that, all those takes, and, and just be excited. Aaron Jones is back. It's going to be fun. We're going to run it back with him. So let's take a look now at the five implications of Aaron Jones re-signing in Green Bay. Because there are obviously there are there will be fallout. And there will be things that come together and obviously things that are set up for the future. So we're going to look at these implications and talk about five of them here right now. All right. First up here, uh, obviously, the Packers will not be joining the spending spree that has occurred since uh, the tampering period started in free agency. They're really not going to join in and all these big deals. Um, obviously, they, they uh, extended the tender to Robert Tunyon and a few others. Um, which is good, but they're not going to be joining the spending spree. They're not going to bring in, you know, these high price free agents, obviously because of the cap mainly, but also, you know, I think Goody should be happy with the big moves he made a couple of years ago with signing of the Smith brothers, Adrian Amos and Billy Turner all have been great. So ultimately Jones was this big signing. The Packers talked about making one big signing this off season. This is it. Now, you can watch for some mid-tier signings. There have been reports on this along the D-line and a defensive back. You know, guys to watch. Maybe Casey Hayward's in for a reunion at a lower cost. Uh, I think Damon Harrison, Snacks, could be back. So watch out for those small deals. But ultimately, Green Bay's not joining the spending spree. They're going to be content with bringing back Aaron Jones and the crew they have right now. Yeah, the second one, Pony Personnel Initiated. Again, the Green Bay Packers, they've gotten creative under Matt LaFleur. A lot of different personnel combinations. One to be excited about, though, is the 21 personnel, also called Pony, where they have two running backs out in the field. Use this a lot with Jones and Jamal Williams, who unfortunately has departed to the Lions. But now with Jones and Dylan, this could be very exciting. Uh, I think Dylan's getting better as a pass catcher. Obviously, we've seen Aaron Jones keep improving in that regard. And, you know, it's a bit of a thunder and lightning combination. So what they can do... If both continue to develop as receivers, there can be a lot of options and a, a, just a lot of mismatches they can create as an offense. And it's clear they want to run the football. And, and that's that's evident at, with, with re-signing Jones. So they want to have Jones and Dylan out there. Splitting time is going to keep their legs fresh as well. So it's going to be nice to see how they integrate these two into you know a full game plan and how it, how it's executed out there and see what the split time is going to be, obviously. They're paying Jones big money, so they're going to have him be the feature guy, but Dylan's going to get plenty of carries as well. Now, I wanted to add this, but it seemed like it was nicely grouped in with the running back part here. Just adding another running back? Mm, I mean, it's possible that the Green Bay Packers add another running back here. Uh, is it out of the picture? I don't think so. I think there's a chance that it would be now there's going to be less draft capital allocated to doing so. Because now, if Jones had left, looking at Dylan and, and really really unsure after that but now I know they want to keep the running back room full so maybe late day three someone like Puka Williams from Kansas perhaps becomes a target for the Packers so I think they might not be done filling up the room but ultimately these are the two you got to concern yourself with if you're an opposing defense and it's probably not going to be fun for you mm, this one's going to hurt a lot of Packers fans uh yeah wide receiver is going to head to the back burner ultimately we talk about, and Packers fans always talk about, getting Rodgers more weapons. Aaron Jones coming back is that big weapon that's coming 
back to the Packers now in 2021. Obviously, we say coming back. You know, we want more players in the picture here. Uh, a lot of people were hoping a wide receiver signing was going to be in the cards in free agency. I just don't see it at this point. I think they're happy with what they have in MVS and Lazard, who they did extend the tender to. Devin Funches coming back. Obviously, Devontae Adams. So, even Equin- Equinemius St. Brown, who... You know, struggles a little bit with concentration drops, but ultimately a good athlete who you can ask to make plays in space for you. So they, they feels like they feel comfortable with that room. Obviously, most of the guys will be free agents after 2021. So maybe they add somebody on day three of the draft, but ultimately for Packers fans, you know, Tanya coming back, they feel comfortable with their tight end room. Wide receiver need may head to the back burner. And we might not, once again, see the Packers look very hard at, at, at wide receiver in the draft, unfortunately. So now the draft needs are coming into focus, speaking of the 2021 NFL draft. Obviously, O-line, I think, becomes the main focus offensively. Now, it's going to come down to how things shuffle, you know, what they're going to do with Jenkins, with Patrick, with Runyon, with Billy Turner. You know, are they going to focus on a center? Are they going to focus on right tackle? What are they going to do in the draft? Unsure about that right now because we don't really know what Goody and what LaFleur have planned and where they want to move, potentially move, I should say, offensive linemen. Uh, around in the group so still think it probably becomes the main focus offensively but obviously corner a nickel hybrid role which joe barry has talked extensively about and defensive line are probably the bigger needs that we'll be looking at uh once draft time comes around Ooh, finally another one the packers fans are probably not going to hear but ultimately this is this re-signing of aaron jones is helping set up jordan love for success in the future could 2022 be the year? Potentially. Um, it, it seems like the out for Aaron Rodgers, this is bringing the gang back together for one big, one more big run potentially here. And Aaron Rodgers could be moved after this season because ultimately you want to see what you have in a rookie quarterback on a rookie contract. So you know, oh, we're going to pay this guy or, oh, we need to search elsewhere for quarterback. So the, at some point, Jordan Love will start for this team and it's going to hurt a lot of Packers fans. It's going to hurt me. I mean, watching Aaron Rodgers has been amazing the past decade and some change now. So it's going to hurt. I understand. But Jordan Love gets the reins eventually. He's going to on his rookie contract. The good running game in place with Jones and Dylan is there now. Got to feel comfortable handing it off to him at some point, handing him the keys. You have a good running game. You have a good offensive line. You have a reliable receiver, good tight end group, you know, that Jordan Love can rely on as a security blanket. Obviously, Devontae will be a security blanket as well. But Everything is starting to take shape and be in good shape for a rookie quarterback to inherit uh, this offense. So yeah, those are really the five implications uh, from this Aaron Jones re-signing. And ultimately, let's just be excited, obviously, for Aaron Jones. I'm not, I'm not gatekeeping necessarily, but I'm saying Aaron Jones coming back is exciting. He's a dynamic player, as we said. So, you know, and he's going to he's gonna be huge in terms of the running game. So, with him developing as a pass catcher, being out there all three downs, I think should be exciting. And running it back to try and get a Super Bowl title should be exciting. But yes, obviously we're thinking long-term. We're thinking short-term when the draft. We're trying to fill needs. So it's going to be a lot of takes, a lot of reactions thrown out there. But ultimately, it will be fun to see what the Packers do the rest of free agency and in the draft. And this channel will be covering all of that. Um, so yeah, I mean... Coming up, obviously the draft is coming up. Really talking about quick channel plans and everything. But I appreciate you guys watching, of course. So drop a like and subscribe if you can. But got a really nice series coming up for the Packers uh, very soon. Um, Obviously a lot of draft stuff as well. Rankings. Big, big board at the end. Yeah. And, And more player breakdowns. Obviously if the Packers and Colts. Obviously Colts fans, I'm not forgetting about you, I promise. Uh, If the Colts sign somebody in free agency... We will be breaking them down for sure. So a lot more coming on this channel. Encourage you to subscribe if you're new. A lot of people who watch, who have watched the videos on the channel are not subscribed. So would appreciate a sub, maybe a like as well. Um, And I will see you guys next time. Can't wait until then. Farewell.